Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Mathematics Parshala. This is a problem of CSIR NET December 2023 Mathematical Sciences. This is a problem of Abstract Algebra Part B. The question ID is 704040. First, let us read the question. Consider the field C together with the Euclidean topology. Let K be a proper subfield of C that is not contained in R. So that K must contain at least one complex number, otherwise it will be contained in R. Which one of the following statements is necessarily true? Option 1 says that K is dense in C. Option 2 says that K is an algebraic extension of Q. Option 3 says that C is an algebraic extension of K. Option 4 says that the smallest closed subset of C containing K is not a field. So, first look at option 1. See here, uh, we are given that K is a proper subfield of C that is not contained in R. So, that means K contains at least one complex number. So, at least one complex number say Z belongs to K. Now, proper subfield of uh, K is given that proper subfield of C that is not contained in R. Okay. Now, we know that uh, the smallest subfield of K, which is actually prime subfield of, uh, sorry, uh, we know that the smallest subfield of C and that is the prime subfield of C that is Q. So, so, as K is a proper subfield of C and Q is the smallest subfield of C, that is prime subfield, so we must have that uh, mm, K contains Q. So, Q is contained in K and K is also con contains some complex number. Now, see that we have Q closure is contained in K closure and Q closure is actually R. So now what we get, we get actually K closure that contained that that is that contains R. So K bar is a subfield of C and contains at least one complex number as J, J belongs to K. So J must belong to K bar. So simply we can uh, from here we get that I also belongs to K bar. So also k bar can be written as like k bar equal to r i and that will be actually our c because we know that here c index r will be actually 2 and so as k bar equal to c so k is dense in c so option 1 is the correct option now see, K is an algebraic extension of Q. So now from option 1, we got that Q is contained in K. So now simply if we take K equal to, simply if we take K equal to say Q uh, pi comma i, then, then see, uh, as pi is uh, not algebraic over Q, so pi is uh, uh, transcendental. So this extension is a uh, transcendental extension of Q. So K is not algebraic extension of Q because the definition of algebraic extension is that an extension uh, say F is said to be an algebraic extension of Q if all the elements of F will be algebraic over K. So here this K is, uh, is uh, K, K contains an element pi and which is not algebraic over Q. So K is not algebraic extension of Q. So option 2 is not true in general. Now look at option 3. For the same uh, K, for the same K, uh, here C is uh, uh, given that C is an algebraic extension of K. So for the same K, uh, C here clearly E belongs to C, but but E is clearly um, is not algebraic over K. E 
belongs to C and which is also which does not belong to this Q by I. Uh, clearly, this E is not algebraic over K. This is equal to K. So, we have an element in C which is not algebraic over K. So, C is not algebraic extension of K. So, option 3 is not true in general for this uh, for this K. It gives that the counted example so that option 3 is not true. Now, look at option 4. The smallest closed subset of C containing K that is actually K closure. K closure is the smallest uh, smallest closed subset of C, mm. K closure and we now just proved in option 1 that K closure is actually our C here. So option 4 says that the smallest closed subset of C containing K is not a field. So, so, so the smallest closed subset of C containing K that is K closure is actually C which is a field. So option 4 is not true in general. So here option uh, 1 is the only correct option and 2, 3, 4 are not the correct option. This is the solution of this problem.